Nicola here from PixieHill.com and this month I have a pretty Spring Fairy Altoy tin for Gypsy Soul laser cuts. I've used my blank tin as a template and pre-cut all of my paper pieces to fit. I'm using Forget Me Not from Lemoncraft as my paper. I'm covering my tin with some nice quality white glue and then applying the paper, burnishing it flat with a roller to ensure that there are no air pockets. I'll cover the front and back first. When dry, I'll sand the edges for a perfect fit. Next, a thin layer of glue to the sides and again, cover with paper and burnish to ensure good adhesion. It's best to only apply paper to the parts of the tin that are exposed when it's closed and avoid the areas covered by the lid. Trim any excess, then allow to dry and sand those edges also. I'm clipping these chipboard corners to fit the front of the tin. I'll prepare all of my chipboard embellishments with a coat of gesso and then white acrylic paint. Some will also get a sprinkling of glitter. While your piece is dry, begin decorating the interior. I'm adding paper to the sides of the bottom of the tin, leaving a small gap along the rim to allow the chipboard frame to fit. Paper is applied to the lid and the base. You do not want to add paper to the inside sides of the lid. This will hinder closing the tin properly. I'm using adhesive foam squares on the back of my vintage girl image. Using two layers adds greater dimension. I'm sandwiching her wings between the layers to add some additional depth. The fairy tale frame insert is a tight fit, but that's exactly what you want. It's going to take a little coaxing to get it in there. Now the tiny frame element and a fussy cut butterfly. Consider the dimension of your embellishments when making your own tin. You want to ensure that the lid closes properly. Some tiny glittery bits because sparkle makes everything better. Now the exterior. All of the prepared chipboard pieces are put into place. and more little sparkles are added. I added some glitter to the corners, words from an old book, and some sticker elements inside to complete this piece. And it's pretty as a picture. Want to make your own? It's fairly easy and the supply list can be found at the blog linked in the description. Just take your time and enjoy yourself and I'm sure your spring fairy tin will be just as sweet.